Hello, Hi. boys. You know what? Hello, girls and envies, and welcome back to the judgiest place on the internet. My name's Josh. My name's Rick. My name's Christian. And we are the, the Judges. Judges. I'm freaking fed up with TikTok commenters. Uh-oh, Josh yeah. is feeling how I feel about Instagram commenters. We have a video that, air- this is like two, three, three weeks like ago? three weeks ago now. There's a story about this guy who, I don't know, waited three months in a relationship to tell his pregnant uh, wife? Girlfriend. Girlfriend. He was going to propose. That's right. After she gave birth, or and- at the hospital. And then she cheated on him and got pregnant with somebody else. Mm-hmm. Bad thing to do. Correct. Yeah. We don't condone that. <laughs> and then Erica said, may I say correctly, that him waiting three months and then on the fucking day, moments after giving birth, saying, you're, was, that was rude of you. Yeah. Which apparently rude to like dudes on the internet is like the worst thing. Yeah. Apparently, me saying that it was rude of him to do that was the equivalent of me being on her side, <laughs> yeah. which is incorrect. We've gotten so like probably like four or five stitches. I probably deleted slash blocked like fifty people that are just like, "Oh God, you're such a piece of shit for this female," and they hit the f on female. And it's like the the one that I sent most recently is this guy hitting a vape, and he goes, "This female." Baddest fucking <laughs> cloud. Like, you couldn't, I don't know, do a nice it stop recording, rocked. come back, cut mm-hmm. the video, put mm-hmm. some production quality. No. There was production quality because he went, nah, 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 nah. And he did the exact numbers of nah. And I was like, who does nine nahs? And then you caption it too. <laughs> oh, that's, that's okay. too much effort. That's, that's, you know what? I'm on his side. But it pisses me off because like. On TikTok, you're only getting a snippet of the stuff that we say. Like, yeah. So I say, that's fucking rude in the middle to convey that I think that's rude, because it is. And then we go on to state in the rest of the video that's not on TikTok to say, yeah, he could have done it differently, but they needed to break up. Yeah, Like, yes, she's a piece of shit, but you didn't need to... Her baby's in the NICU being observed, like... It was a bad situation. Like that. What's What's really funny too is like, it happened a lot more on old like when we first started getting like putting stuff on TikTok. But now that we're growing more on Instagram through Reels. People will comment on our Reels like, "Do you guys have a full podcast?" And it's like, "Our fucking name is Judge Pod. It's Pod. There's a thing on there that says go to this episode for the full context, the full bit, and people still don't fucking do it. And it, that's that drives me more insane. But you're right. It's like. Because we, we just got a comment today on someone. We got a comment on probably one of the first, like, 14 TikToks that we posted today of somebody being like, wow, this is such a short video. You definitely could have put in more of your own opinions on this and not just steal a story from the internet. Is that, that was before three-minute videos existed. We had to cut to 60 seconds. Is this entertaining for anybody? We're coming in hot this We're episode. F- pissed. I have two points to make. One, I'm glad you guys are feeling the fucking fire that i've been feeling for the last three weeks <laughs> this this tiktok blew up out of nowhere it's been like this on instagram and that's why the last week i came in saying i fucking hate our instagram commenters yeah. it's now bled over into tiktok i also probably hate a lot of you guys now <laughs> uh so I'm, I'm just glad you guys are feeling that and then two um this isn't a podcast for babies we don't have to spoon feed you that uh w- that person's bad right also it's we my can, like, opinion like <laughs> Also, you were drunk that episode. Oh, I was fucked up that and episode. There was other parts where I can't remember. It was the story that we're gonna read an update for later, uh, where the person says like, uh-huh. "You're cut off." The person says like, "I knew them for ten years," and like, "Ah, that's fucking nothing." And then Christian even <laughs> said like, "Ricky, we're gonna get destroyed on." TikTok. I don't even remember that. <laughs> but we don't just complain about our wonderful, wonderful viewers on this podcast. We love our podcast listeners. Yeah, we're we're the real no, no podcast listeners ever made me upset. That's we true. also open mails on this podcast. <gasps> and we got a lot of letters. Um let's do these two. Erica, this one is addressed specifically to Ricky. Okay, let me set so, down my bottle of wine. And I'll read this one here with a nice picture of a fish in a bowl. I don't know if this is this isn't Sir Strumming. No. Okay. Sir Strumming or, is Herring. I know it's canned, but like, I don't know. Does that look like herring? Well, hey, this is, hey, Erica, Christian, and Josh. I thought your collection could use a cool and a bizarre card from the Netherlands. Okay, Thanks for use. making an awesome pod week after week, sending all the best from Amsterdam. 
love Shelby. Uh, and if you want to send cool stuff like this, that's P.O. Box 58, P.O. Box 58, mm-hmm. Oddwheel, Illinois, 61350, and address it to Garbage the Cat. No. Address it to Ricky, like this person did. And it's very cute. I love the envelope. is pink. I love pink. It's got stickers on it. Is this the one you had to pay to receive? I don't remember. There's a little circle here saying postage yes, you a then. dollar. <laughs> I almost threw it away today on accident. <laughs> Aurora went through the garbage and found it. Cool Hot Wheels stamp, though. Please open on podcast. Well, good thing we got it on podcast to open. Ooh. Calm down. Whoa, <gasps> whoa. Oh, it's a bunch of stickers. Fun. These are all for me. That's fine. Please don't notice and not a stream if possible. School uh, school and theater take a lot of time, and I can't keep up with live streams. Can't keep up on how to write good either, huh, bud? P.S. Oh, oh my bud. God, this took so long. <laughs> <laughs> you never write in bubble letters. This is so, oh, my God, this is so Fuck. cute. Uh, but do you have time to read all of that? I do have a very, very strict schedule we're following tonight. There's a I'm going to do recipe. everything I can to throw that schedule off, just so you know. This is why we hate it her, It says, folks. Erica! Hi. And it says, and Christian. Like, Where's me at? Anything. You knew that we were going to open it on pod. It doesn't say anything about Joshua. What the Anyway. Frick? If you read the first letter in every word, it spells out Josh, too. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for fucking up the K in the lettering. You did it. It looks fabulous. Um, For your name, my best friend is Erica with a C. Sad face. She put in the sad face, not me. But I agree. Uh, I wanted to share my chocolate chip cookie recipe with you guys that I've been modifying and perfecting over the winter to oh my God. to make for Olsen when he's older. I thought this was just going to be like for Olsen. I'm like, girl, he can't have cookies yet. Um, I'm not going to go through the recipe because it's a secret. It says, well, I know you're n- not an advice podcast. I was wondering if you could help me out. We're not. I'm a junior at a private school with really stressful culture about grades in college uh stressful like an 87 is failing and people Ugh. expect you to take multiple uh ap classes a year uh how do i stay sane during the last two years of high school and college admissions process as an adhd maybe adhd slash autistic person um thank you guys love the pod and josh you have good puns hey i'm glad i made the fucking cut how about that okay first you of all please did in i loved your card and i love all the stickers it's very and i'm beautiful. not sharing them i might share them with aurora because i like her but i love huh? love love this also um all i can say is that it gets better i promise you it gets better yeah the last two years of high school are they're unnecessarily the stressful yeah yeah once you get and that doesn't help you now i guess but once you get past it you'll be like what was i so stressed about yeah literally as soon as you get into college nobody gives yeah. a shit about your high school days nobody cares nobody fucking cares you got this take deep breaths look at all the stickers play some play some stickers on stuff because it seems to make you happy it makes me happy and and just try to find some time for yourself yeah yeah, and just stick maybe, in there. Maybe get an 86 just to fuck with your parents. Okay. Yeah. And just because other people say, ooh, it's failing. I don't know, I mean, it's failing. C's get degrees, baby. Hey, that is true. also D's get degrees. How do you think I got where well, I'm at? Tell you what, I was a straight A student until I got to college, and the first C minus I got broke me. And then after that, I was like, whoa, this is great. I don't have to get a 90 fucking two in every class. Huh. It's almost like. It's almost like nothing bad happened to me yeah. for getting a C. <laughs> I still got my degree, believe it or not. Yep. And you still got a job using your degree using afterwards. Using my degree. That's so. absolutely correct. And the C was in, well, this makes more sense, was in like my major. Like Same. Yeah. Obviously, it wouldn't be. Or you could get A's and you could come loudly at the end of college. So. I still got to come loudly. Oh, I was wow. a Sigma come loud, yeah. Sigma come loud? Yeah. Wow. Do you mean Suma? Sigma. No. Smegma. You're right. Is you're it right, summa right. cum laude? It's summa cum laude. Yeah, I, I had a three. I think I ended up with like a three, five, three. And I think the cutoff was three, five. Anyway. We don't need to talk about my GPA. I mean, All th- that matters is it, I got uh, a degree. It was actually a three, five, ten. Because I'm tall. Whoa. Yeah. That's the cutoff. We don't, though, just talk about how massively tall I am on this podcast. And thank you for the mail. Thank you for the mail. But we also read stories on this podcast. And what that... And trails is us going online and finding silly little stories. And this week we have two updates. <gasps> That's right. Uh, the first one is a real quick one. 
So this is from this is a listener submitted story, mm-hmm. like an actual listener sent the story in. Mm-hmm. The story was somebody whose uh, husband could no longer have sex with her due to injuries, and then she asked us if she should go hook up with an old flame Gustavo. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and we said anybody else. Yeah, not a good idea. So Gustav, here... no. Was that a good one, guys? That was a good one. Give me a clean one. Gustav, oh. no. That was a clean one before. Yeah. Give me a clean three. <clears throat> Gustav, no. That was the one. <laughs> Hello, Erica. Hi. I wanted to say thank you for reading my submission. You're welcome. As for an update, I heard you three in the Piss Babies. I heard you three and the Piss Babies. I don't know why I was thinking that you were the three and we were the Piss Babies. <laughs> uh, and the I decided to one. not have sex with Gustav, no. You were right that there is a part of me that always hoped to be with Gustavno, and time was never rice. I had to do a lot of reflection, reflection after hearing my story aloud, so the wanting has been put to bed. I found a new therapist to talk out what feelings this has opened. For now, I'm going to just stay the way I was before, content being loved and in love with my husband and no sexual experiences. Okay. Well, I mean, you could still, with you know, his permission... Would you already have? Go do what you want. Just not with that specific person. Too many feelings attached to that one. Yeah. Although yeah. I do ad- agree that it would be convenient because, like, you don't have to go through the whole rigmarole. Rigmarole. Of yeah. A I actually stranger. enjoy rigmarole. So. Hmm. Do you, you. You seem like the type. <laughs> yeah, and I mean that derogatorily. <laughs> <laughs> you look like you're down to get your hands dirty unnecessarily. Yeah. He yeah. is. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and now another update. Now, this is an update to a Reddit story. So the first story that we read was about a jealous uh, fiancé because her fiancé was going to his ex-wife's funeral. That confuses funeral. me every time. Yeah. I'm, I'm like I need gendered terms. My I'm brain pretty is sure they too... were married. I think they were about to get married, right? I'm pretty sure they were married. Oh, they were married. So anyway. Her husband was best friends with his Mm ex-wife. She was really upset about it. His ex-wife died. Like in his car. (laughs) And then uh, he was going to the funeral, and she said, if you go to the funeral, then I hate you. So here's the update. I'm so eager to hear the update. This is via... Did we say before it was 2X chromosomes? No. No. This is on 2X chromosomes. The original... Oh, the original was on I Met the Asshole. This updates on 2X chromosomes. Gotcha. We've been together for 10 years, but he's choosing to end all of that because of how I reacted to his ex-wife's death. They were friends when we met, and his claim that was that they dated and got married while they were young and dumb before realizing they worked better as friends Full than as a couple. What'd you say? Uh, full of cum, too. Young, dumb, and full of cum? Is that? Yeah. Oh. Loudly, yeah. <laughs> sure. That makes sense. There's only one way to come, and it's loudly. Can you come quietly? Mm-mm. No. Mm-mm. I'm trying to think back if I've ever come quietly. Yeah. Not with all this rigmarole. <laughs> <laughs> I was just making sure, because that sounded familiar. He and I had a mostly happy marriage, I thought, but I had to deal with her presence and pretending she and her husband were friends. I hated her, and when she died, I was relieved. I didn't want him going to... It, Uh, her funeral saying now that she was out of his life he was done with her i was called cold and callous for wanting to put my foot down Mm -hmm. yes he went to the funeral which i was very uncomfortable with i asked him not to go again and he just gave me this cold expressionless stare she was cremated and my husband has been given a little bit of her ashes in a small urn the size of a pill bottle i told him it was creepy to have them and he flipped me the bird yeah it's the correct response the past month plus of my life has been a nightmare because of her dying. My husband has barely talked to me, and I've received texts from nearly all of our friends and family calling me a monster. All because someone saw my original post on Reddit and shared it with everyone they could, even people at my job. And I even hear a really cool podcast Reddit. It doesn't Whoa. Say that. It doesn't say that. It says a really awesome podcast. It does. <laughs> a so cool and interesting and their comment section kind of dog shit, but man, the podcast is really good. <laughs> Many of the posts here were nice in comparison to the things the people I thought were my friends said to me. 
I was just out of town for several days on a work trip. On Friday, I came home to a partly empty house, his car don, gone, and a petty sounding letter saying that we would be getting a divorce. Not that he wanted one, but that it was going to happen. He's already filed. Can you file? I guess that makes sense. The paper, the 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 ball's in motion here. Yeah. It's... I guess, yeah. It doesn't have to be like both you need to show up to file a divorce. I've never gotten divorced. I'm pretty sure, and I could be talking out my ass here because I also have never been divorced. Um, but the person, that, yet. the person that files has to pay the filing fee. Oh, okay. and it's like five hundred dollars or something ridiculous. Whoa. It's expensive this to get divorced. This is why you don't get married, folks. Well, he wrote, "I fucking watched her die. She was walking by my side when it happened. I have nightmares about it." My, very traumatic. He yeah. said that my post was one of the most hurtful things he's ever read and that my jealousy of his friendship was insane. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> yeah. He okay. said I'd be keeping the house because, quote, I don't want to spend every morning waking up to a reminder of the years of lies that was our marriage. <laughs> he left a list of what he's taking, saying I can keep the rest. His last line was, if it had been me instead of her, she'd have been there for you in an instant. Remember that. Get fucked. Yeah. I learned he's staying with her husband because that man sent me a long text telling me to stay away from his home and he regretted ever letting me into his life. I love that. My own sister said if she learned I was dating someone, she'd film on what a black-hearted C-word I am. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can date eventually. I guess not right now. So, yeah, my husband is divorcing me because of... Oh, she'd fill the new person that she was dating in on how bad he is. How mm -hmm. bad she is. Yeah. I thought he was like, he, she, her sister Her sister is going to report back to her ex-husband to be like, oh, she's dating someone already. So yeah, my husband she's... is divorcing me because of his first wife's death. She's more important to him and it seems to our friends than keeping our marriage together. She's <laughs> screwing, up, screwing up my life even from the grave. I don't know how this isn't clicking in her, in her brain. Was I drunk during this episode? Yeah. yeah. Both that one was... Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so, this lady sucks. It's crazy how she hasn't learned anything. Like, you yeah. can absolutely have those feelings, but you can't expect your spouse to... Bend to your will like that? Like... Yeah. Like, just keep that shit to yourself. Talk to your therapist about it. Yeah. Talk to your best friends about it. Like, like, hey, I know it's really shitty, but I hated this bitch. I'm glad she's dead. And I really hate that my husband's going to her funeral. Give him time to grieve. Mm -hmm. Correct. Yeah. The fact that she died right next to him yeah. is so traumatic. Like, that would be traumatic even if they weren't best friends. Like, even if they were, yeah. like, Enemies. exes and they yeah. were not friendly and, you know, happened to be passing each other on the street and she dropped dead in front of him. That's still traumatic. Yeah. That's yeah, crazy. I don't know how she can understand, like, how she can write that update and all these people telling her like hey that's how i feel people closest to your own goddamn sister is trying to get through to you be like you are being a bad person all She's your like, friends nope. and family telling you that you're a piece of shame be like i just don't understand how they don't get me that's wild man. this is how the fucking that pro-choice guy was where he's like everybody in my family hates me and is distancing distancing themselves from me and it's like maybe that don't should, be a piece of shit i feel like that should be sending off like a flag in your head that maybe you are the bad guy in this yeah. situation. Take a hint. Take a fucking hint. I, Take a hit? Hey. hey. Because I was drunk in that episode, I honestly don't remember what my reaction was, but I remember like kind like agreeing with her at first, like, hell yeah, fuck that bitch. Oh, people comment about how you said that it's not okay to be friends with an ex or how it would make you feel uncomfortable. Yeah. They had words for that too. Yeah, I don't care. Um <laughs> But no, she sucks. Like yeah. There's no way that this I would person. ever, like, stop you from from going to, like, someone's funeral well, or, like, like, grieving in your own way. If you remember, in the original story, um, he says, like, only a couple months into their, them dating, like, yes, I haven't told you yet, but it is she is my ex-wife. So now that that's on the table, here is how I, here are my boundaries for how her and my relationship is going to exist. Yeah. And this per OP here had a out at that point yeah to be had, like, she had the opportunity to be like that's not for me right but instead she decided until i guess that she'll she died to be like yeah, <laughs> yeah. like you dug your own grave that's not her uh, <laughs> that's not what i meant that's mm. really fucked up record scratch you're Editor. the one who messed it up not your husband's ex-wife yeah and like i said like she's entitled to have those feelings like you can absolutely feel that way but you can't expect your spouse to you know, have 
What am I trying to say? No one knows. This next one is a listener submitted. So it's a it's a sent in a Reddit story. But it's got a twist. And boy, am I excited to share this with I you. I love that. Uh, this was sent in by Angelica. Not mm. pickles. Mm. Okay. Bummer. Sorry. Cucumbers. Uh, ah. Uh, I found this on Reddit a while ago, and I knew I had to screenshot and send to the judges. Kind of long, but it's got a shitty dad slash man, so always hey. a fun okay. read. I was about to say, we know that, but I guess it's only me. I, I know that life. Well, now Christian knows it since he married you. That is true. Christian's dad is an angel. Yeah, but your dad is his dad, too. Oof. Sorry. It's John, Jing- it John Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt rules. Mm. That is... I don't have his name anymore. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Forgot my first name is his, also his name. And his middle name. Yeah. Ah! Let's Roger. change our names. Here we go. Can I just can I just be Rick now? Okay. I When have I called you Erica? I don't... It's been a long time. It's been time. a while. But, like, legally, can I change it? And then if you can you change yours. I'm going to have to legally change it to my middle name to Roger, though. Christian Roger, yeah. That's fine. Am I the asshole yes. for asking my daughter not to have sex while staying at our house? Hmm. How old is the daughter? How nice is the house? <laughs> uh, Who is she having sex with? Is it random people all the time? That part doesn't matter. All, that's, that's true. It doesn't. All great questions to be answered soon. Hopefully. My wife and I, late 50s... Uh, I almost heard male and female as M and F, like like M and M's, but they made the gendered <laughs> male and female M and M's. That's what the woke libs, <laughs> woke lib media wants from you, Josh. <laughs> my wife and I, late fifties, male. And, my my wife and <laughs> I, <laughs> late fifties, male female, have four grown kids. One of our middle kids, twenty six, female, and her husband, twenty something, male, Just loves fucking. How funny is that to be like her husband, 20 something? Oh. <laughs> like, how do you not know? <laughs> Are in the process of buying their second house. Oh, As in, like, sold the first one. Their first one sold quickly. Oh, okay. And cool. the new owners offered extra for quick possession. They don't get possession of the new place until January 1st, and they had to leave their place by November 1st. Ooh. Okay. So quite yeah. a long time. So they plan on getting an Airbnb. But my, my wife and I. Oh, why did I go British? <laughs> my wife. My, what am I doing? That was JFK. I'm, we my only wife. needed to do it once. So. <laughs> that was Mayor Quimby. <laughs> Citizens of Springfield. What am I doing? <laughs> You're out? embarrassing I, yourself. I keep... You're embarrassing yourself. <laughs> Delete it. You're editor, embarrassing us, editor, really. Editor, please. <laughs> <laughs> Throw me a fucking bone, editor. <laughs> editor. Editor, look at me, editor, in the eyes. Come on. Man. Yeah, man, I got you. My wife and I, <clears throat> <laughs> they plan on getting Airbnb, but my wife and I hadn't, don't even. <laughs> oh, that almost went out my nose. Ugh. My wife and I had an apartment over our garage and offered them that space. Things have been going great. They both work, so they went about life. My wife loves to, my wife. <laughs> My wife loves to cook for more than one person, so they've been eating dinner with us most nights. That part has been wonderful. It's been so nice having my daughter around in the evenings. Still don't know how old her husband is, though. <laughs> the other night, th- the other night, my after they had gone <laughs> okay. back to, my brain is broken, dude. I don't know what's going on. I can't read this. The other night, after they had gone back to the apartment, I went to get something from the garage. The apartment can be accessed from the outside and the inside. There's a staircase inside the garage and only an interior door separating the garage from the apartment. I could hear them very obviously having sex. I felt it was a bit disrespectful to be having sex when they are staying with her parents. I thought I had raised her better than that. I told my wife and she laughed. She said, I quote, good for them. Yeah. Uh huh. I couldn't let it go. So the next night at dinner, I brought up how disrespectful we find it for them to be having sex in our house. My, my well, they wife, weren't. Here's the thing: they weren't having sex in the house. Right. It was a separate building. Just, just some rigmarole. And this does feed into the idea that you can't have a quiet come. Mm-hmm. Summa cum laude. Lee, loudly. 
whatever editor <laughs> how how Edi- <laughs> hey, editor episode title sigma come loudly <laughs> my wife did not back me up she made sure to tell him it wasn't we but only me who felt that we my daughter and her husband excused themselves from the meal i expected an apology but instead they moved out the next day yeah that kind of rocks they listened to him they said don't have sex in our house and they were like we're gonna fuck so we're yeah. out of here my, wa- my wife says they are a married couple and aren't even in our house and that I was an asshole. But yeah. in my mind, they are staying in an apartment on our property. They could at least abstain until they don't live with us. I would never dream of disrespecting my parents having sex in their house. So am I the asshole? Yeah. yeah. They're grown adults, first and for- foremost. They're consenting grown adults, second most. And third most, they're fucking married. Yeah, and do you want your son-in-law coming at the table? Because that's what's going to happen. Yeah, he's going he's gonna to get his comes out in a day no matter what. Is he going to be comes out. in your garage apartment or at the dinner table? You know? Mm. I don't know why you're so disgusted about this. It's his fault. Just thinking, like, he's got to get his comes out. Yeah. He does! There's something weird. Yeah. I remember how I said there's a twist halfway through? Mm-hmm. Are you ready for the point of view from the daughter? Mm. <gasps> Ooh! <laughs> Christian... I feel like sometimes I would just love to revoke your soundboard privileges. Sometimes, just, just once, just erase all the noises. Ooh, that would be a good. Happens, and we'll just we'll ad lib the. It happens the about every song. time um, that I use his card. All of his sounds are gone, so it's like these four buttons work. We'll get you mm-hmm. a multicolored like fingered glove, and then like when you hold up like red finger, it'll be like. Okay, and then green is. Fucking yeah, that's the daughter. Having sex. <clears throat> Am I the asshole for having intercourse with my husband in my parents' house? No. Even if this wasn't like the <laughs> circumstance that it was, you're yes. not. Is it in their bed? Then yeah, that'd be pretty disrespectful. That's pretty bad. Or just like in a way bad. that they could see it. Yeah. Yes. Like on their couch or in their shower or something that's fucking rude. But like privacy right. of your own bedroom yeah. or a guest bedroom. Don't come fine. in my shower. It's going to clog the drains. Yeah, there's already enough Christian come in there. There's enough Christian come in there. Goddamn Christians. I, 26. I'm sorry, Jesus. <laughs> I, 26 <laughs> female, was informed by my best friend who I told this situation to that someone, my father, my father, has already brought this story onto a subreddit, which I saw, read, and found deceiving. Me and my husband, <gasps> drum roll for his age, <laughs> editor, <laughs> 28 male, sold our first home and are still currently finalizing everyone with our second home, which will be completed by one one twenty three. My mother told us that we could stay with her, but my father wasn't quite, quite lenient. For what reason, I'm not quite so sure of. He didn't want them having sex. Probably trying to be a landlord and fucking rent the, the yeah. place out. He does want grandkids, though, so you guys figure that out. Yeah, what's up with that? That's a great point. Mm-hmm. You gotta fuck to get kids. Yep. I've been trying Mary to... Mary didn't. Okay. Sorry, this one goes Jesus. out to you, Jesus. That's why it's called <laughs> marriage. Boo. That's why it's called marriage. Boo. It's a fact. Boo. That's why it's called oh, Mary yep. Wife. <laughs> Christian. Yeah, Erica doesn't like etymology, people. Get a load of this lady. We were great for the first two weeks or so until my father started acting immature about my intimate behavior. I didn't like that. Immature. No, thank you. Immature. That's actually better. Weird. I was joking. Oh, immature of you to say that. Yeah, there it is. (laughs) Wait. Which, again, I found... Immensely bizarre. <laughs> What's going on? Immensely yeah. bizarre. I can't you didn't even do tell that on purpose. I did anymore. I did do that one on purpose. Oh, okay. It was a fun little bit I did. <laughs> a couple of days back at our nightly dinner ritual, he jump started on the conversation of fucking intercourse, if you won't. First saying that we need to stop going at it like animals and in your parents' house for the really? Do you not respect me in the slightest? I haven't fucked in three decades. Does it say that? No. (sighs) Jillian, how many times do I have to tell you, quit sucking and fucking in our garage? (laughs) At least put the shop vac back when you're done with it. Ew. I know it's a wet dry vac. Ew. But if that's what you're into. (laughs) My father didn't say this in a way of questioning, but a way of accusing us and treating us as toddlers. 
This is the this is the way he will sneakily try to treat my husband. An example of, of this is him purposely saying he doesn't know his age, which is a lie. He was condescending, and my dear mother was on my side, but we chose to leave. Our apartment was completely isolated, and you will only be able to hear anything if you were intentionally eavesdropping by going next to the door as if as it was on top of the garage. Me and my husband couldn't be arsed with this immaturity and his snide comments whilst we were there. So we went to a local Airbnb, which we have been staying at for the last couple of days. I still can't believe he made it seem like I wasn't being respectful or that I'm the asshole in the slightest for doing what I do with my husband. I find this all awfully perplexing. Why does my father think he has authority over my sex life? He doesn't. Did they really say can't be arsed? No, I made that one up. Oh, I was like, wow. British. <clears throat> Sorry, it says sincerely, Angel. Yes, you can use my name. Not Angelica. Ooh. Sorry, bud. Sorry. Your mom sent this in? Not my mom. Mm. Oh. An angel? Yeah. Mary was keeping an extra eye out on us. Sorry, Jesus. What a fun little double POV. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I, <laughs> I loved the second line of like, I don't know my, my son-in-law's age. I barely know his name. It's so funny to me. Like, what a fucking... It, it definitely reads as, like, a power play. Yeah. I'm like, oh, and fucking Brad, I don't know how old he is. A little shit. Always trying to have sex with my daughter. I'm overly protective of my daughter. He doesn't even stain when I enter the room. Have you felt st- his handshake? Stain? Stand? Oh, stand. Sorry, do I need to get a little closer to the mic for you? No. Do I just need to stop mumbling as much? Erica, tell him that we need to go to break. Christian. What? Can we go to break? Yeah. Catch you on the flip. Uh, side. Welcome back to this side of the <laughs> job cast. Yeah, that's right. This is a light work for some of us. Can I say a few things? Yeah. That we didn't oh, get wow. to say at the top because we were all heated. Yeah. First of all, I know we talked about it off pod both of these things however now that we are recording joshua Uh oh you have not mentioned my hair oh come on but it's now that we're recording the people need to know oh so but but like you got to bring it up naturally so i could be like oh my god yeah i did get my hair done so in order for you to talk vainly about yourself you have to throw me underneath a bus because let the record show i did talk about her hair i said that you did i didn't say that you didn't i said that it was off mic so it doesn't count to you. Correct. Okay. Hey, Josh, have you noticed anything different about my wife? Uh, about your who? You guys fucking in your parents' garage again? No. We never did it in the garage. No, we never did it in the garage. Hmm. That's, I mean, to be fair, it's a detached garage, so it would be kind of weird to, like, go outside to do it, I guess. Hmm. Hmm. But speaking of things that are attached to your head... Erica, what happened to your hair? Did oh you get it God. freaking to done did or something? It did get did. Okay. It bye. done did got got. And got what, done. So what do we, was it a trim? I got like six inches cut off. So is that a trim? I was asking for the definition of a trim. Is that a cut? I would say it's a cut. Okay. So you got a cut. I got a cut. You got little sparklies in your hair. I got tinsel all up in there, baby. Tinsel. That's right. And pink streak. Pink streaks. Look out. Pink streak alert. Editor. <laughs> whoop, whoop, Editor. Whoop, whoop. Pink, pink streak alert. alert. Pink streak alert. Can you edit in like. Oh, my God. <laughs> confetti cannons, but it's just pink Fuck. sparkly confetti. That Fuck. one's not that hard. No. Come on. That's not that hard. What do you mean that's not that hard? Just, type, fuck- in, just type in like a uh, um, uh, green screen effect confetti cannon. There's gonna Specifically be pink. I need you to well, go you can through just chroma and digitally key- edit no. each. You can just thing chroma key it pink. Pink. That'll be easy. You chroma shift it. Anyway, um, this is like you saying you, I could just chroma shift the fucking gold. You can an impossible color to fucking chrome shift to. You were gonna <laughs> tell me that gold is fucking yellow. <laughs> anyway, the luster, Christian. Anyway, um, so yeah, I got my hair done and I feel really hot and um. I'm it's, feeling pretty hot right now. Heated. Continue, please. Please. <laughs> You're the show. You're the heart. Anyway. I'm feeling pretty good about it. And only it's only a little bit of pink, but I think my next appointment, I'm going to go like all pink. All pink. The same color? Or, you know, a lot of pink. The same color? Maybe more tinsel. I don't know yet. But yeah, probably. The color suits your skin tone very well. Thanks. 
Yeah. And I said earlier that it, the shirt helps bring out the little strands there. Mm-hmm. But I hope y'all can see it. I'll probably post a picture Editor. on Instagram. Yeah, if she posts a picture, it could be there. Also, okay, uh, okay. We haven't talked on recording about why my neck hurts. Okay, eating too it's much ass. in the pod. He won't let me. Uh, no, because I don't know what happened, but I fucked up my neck doing something, and <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> we're still trying to figure that one out. It really hurts. Yeah. So if you see me wincing in pain with any there... movement in my head, it's because my neck hurts. I can't remember. I'm an old ass bitch now. The episode that comes out Monday that we recorded last week. There is a point where I. I tell a joke or something, and you go like, "Yeah," <laughs> <laughs> and I noticed it. I don't remember if I like focused on it or not, but it was really funny the way you were like, <laughs> "Yeah," because it fucking hurts. <laughs> but we didn't like we talked about it last week, but it was like during break and yeah. when we weren't recording. So I feel like I need to tell the people my fucking neck hurts. So you're trying to be more parasocial, and it's been like a yeah. whole week, and I've gone to the chiropractor, and it's only helped a teensy bit. Oh, you can't say that on. Yeah, chiropractors are fake news. I was gonna say we're about to get canceled for supporting chiropractors. Oh well, I like my bones cracked, and I couldn't crack it on my own, so and it feels Come- almost as good as coming loudly. You couldn't get your husband to crack a few bones for you. I don't trust this man to crack my neck. Am That's I gonna die? I'm not trying to die. Did you go have a male chiropractor crack your neck? Yeah, but he was only like four foot two, so it's <laughs> less threatening. He yeah. doesn't even start with rigmarole. He doesn't. <laughs> No rigmarole to be had at that chiropractor's office. Babe, let's make it a quickie tonight. No, no rigmarole. Come on. <laughs> but you know Can what? We, we start... call it rigmarole. Rigmarole is good. Yeah. Yeah. But that's too not close... for you. It's not too... for you, Joshua. It's too close to rigmarole. That's fine. No, we're gonna give you come. Exactly. Never we're gonna give you come. Why would you no, give me come? Around it's a gift. And come loud. Hey. Can I you're... also say? <laughs> oh my god! Say uh, I gotta say that um, drinking wine out of the bottle with you is not as good as drinking it from a glass. But um, it's funnier. Incorrect. I don't. Is this a dude versus girl thing? Luis gave uh, Aurora a bottle of wine for Christmas, I think. Mm-hmm. And Romance Red from Cooper Sock is very good. It and is a very good wine. I. Uh, we opened it up the other night, and I was just drinking out of the bottle, and I looked, and I was like, oopsies, three quarters of the way gone. <laughs> I mean, yes, but <laughs> I feel like it tastes better out of the glass. Uh, it if, does, but... Oh, okay, yes, but you drink more of it when you're out of the bottle. Hold on. Also, what? the bit... You're only going to agree with with me because he said yes? No, 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 no. I agreed with you. Nah. Like, it took me a second, because it does... The A wine glass is designed... Did you turn me off? <laughs> <laughs> What'd you reach on the board for, fucker? <laughs> the wine glass is designed to like add the nose and the tannins and everything into the wine. Skin legs. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, that's why. Mm-hmm. That's why you're only. So, well, it doesn't the legs don't alter real the Somalia over here? <laughs> yeah, real Somalia over there. You have to read your freaking. If you're. <laughs> this bit's been running on a little too long. If you're new here, we. <laughs> If you're new here, we do a little thing called the Circle Dirge, where we dirge around the circle. And tonight, Christian's prepared something extra special for us. Oh, that wasn't Ex- all, all that rigmarole. <laughs> wasn't just... Rigmarole. You would have had Sorry. to say, here's the Circle Dirge, it's my hair. Fuckers, talk about it. Here's this- the Circle Dirge. It's my hair and my neck and my freaking wine. And your pussy and your crack. Yeah. Well, that's the rigmarole part, mm-hmm. so... This week's Circle Dirge... <laughs> Chrissy's coming in hot with Ooh. Postinalities. That's the title of this one. That's Did you get this from BuzzFeed? No. This sounds some, like like some fucking older millennial bullshit. I was really fucking hoping BuzzFeed would just have it for me. I'm, I'm an ELBL. That's my type. That's my personality. I'm an INFJ. All of our new Actually, listeners. I, don't know. I just made that up. Well, At I, some point in our history, we've taken the Myers-Briggs personality test. Here's yeah. all of our results. Josh was an ESTJ. That's uh, empaths. Sociopath. No, it's uh, extrovert. <laughs> uh, Sociopath. Sucks. <laughs> uh, uh, total extrovert, Josh. Stupid. <laughs> train wreck. <laughs> Josh. <laughs> Erica is an ESFJ, and I was Christian close. is an INFP. Really. Well, yeah. You think um, you're introverted, bud? What? Christian is absolutely introverted, for sure. I'm yeah. absolutely introverted. I'm the mediator. That's the that's the little title of what mine is. Yeah, right. Yeah, because mine were all like bad people. That yeah, you're the mine. executive. Yeah. No. Oh. You just had like the worst presidents. Right. All of them. Well, like the actual bad ones, like Andrew Jackson, mm. the, the other bad, bad one. Ones, you mean? 
Josh, if you look deep down in your soul, what kind of pasta do you think is your personality? Uh, lasagna, because it's too much. Hmm. Wrong. You're spaghetti and meatballs. That's not a pasta. That's a dish. Oh. Are we talking about noodle or like meatballs isn't pasta. It's a cake. It's the spaghetti <laughs> is the pasta part. It can be. A, it's a pasta dish. Okay. I, I, I'm sorry I didn't lead with pasta dish. I thought <laughs> pasta was enough. Okay, so can I amend my answer? Ask me again. We'll get it clean for this one editor. Uh, ask me. Look deep down in your soul, and what kind of pasta dish do you think you are? Probably lasagna, because I'm a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you're telling me what? <laughs> oh, okay. Spaghetti and meatballs, okay. You're spaghetti and meatballs. Um, it's a good choice. Everybody it is loves, everybody loves spaghetti and meatballs. Mm, that's a pretty like solid spaghetti. choice. I'm not a big fan of meatballs in pasta. Here's what Spoon University has to say about this. Josh, you want people to have the same amount of energy you do because you sometimes get hard to keep up with. He's a lot. I'm a lot. Spaghetti is full of carbs that get you energized, and the meatballs contain lots of protein. Just so much <laughs> protein. A plate of spaghetti will please all those who will follow your lead for those reasons. And nobody will be too hungry to complete the next challenge you have cut out for them. That's nice. That sounds pretty accurate to you, right? That's pretty close, yeah. That's pretty close. Erica, what kind of pasta dish would you be? In your heart of hearts, what kind of pasta dish do you think you are? I'm going with the shrimp scampi. You're going seafood, really? Mm -hmm. Really? You're a fire sign. It doesn't mean I don't like seafood. You're looking in your heart and you're saying, I see food. Is that a fat uh, joke? Well, no, I don't have food in my mouth to do the joke, but uh, listeners, imagine. Watchers don't look, but listeners, imagine that I had food in my mouth and I said, see food, and then I opened my mouth and there was chewed food in my mouth. Yeah. Now, Eric, I give the reaction to it. Uh-huh. Okay. I like doing that to little kids. It was baby. Like food. when we're out with like family or whatever, mm-hmm. and they'll, they're looking over at me and I just show them the food in my mouth and they're like, oh my God. Oh. It's so funny. What the fuck? Yeah. You do that? Yeah. Oh. Erica, your ravioli. Continue. Erica's penne. Because you're you're just uh, full of a good time. You know what? My favorite pasta is that penne dish. I know. I was like, oh, this is almost a... Your penne with a plain sauce. Plain. Plain. Like butter noodles? Um, This one just has a nice little marinara. Mm. Okay. Same as spaghetti. But I do think it's very odd that... Erica's favorite pasta dish right now is a penne with a simple pan sauce. But isn't it a white sauce? Mm-hmm. Okay. It's still a pan sauce. But it's not simple. It's what a com- do you mean? It's complex on the tongue. What do you... It is complex on the tongue. There's simple is about the flavor profile, not it's how like easy it is to make. Oh, my God. You guys know nothing about food and Shut drink. the Correct. fuck up. I see food and I like it, so... <laughs> Erica, your main mission in life is to help others. That's true. This way of being makes you pretty popular and reliable. So it's likely that you're someone that people turn to when the little things in life start to fail. Penny is an easy to cook kind of pasta that will always be meal ready with a bit of plain tomato sauce on it. Everyone you cook it for will appreciate eating it because it's the kind of dish that is simple, practical, just like you. Name a pasta that's hard to cook. You just put it in hot water. Have you ever tried making bigatoni? Bigatoni is bigatoni a real I'm thing? I'm almost positive. It's just large rigatoni. It's it's the biggest pasta I could find. It's not. What's the tea one? That's like a large noodle that they use it in series of unfortunate events. Uh, tiramisu. <laughs> oh, it definitely is T E R. Terrible pasta. <laughs> Get fucked, Josh. Um, and then. Sweet baby Christian, the INFP of the group. If I look in my heart of hearts, the pasta I think I am is probably um, a nice, a nice, a nice, a nice pesto pasta. Pesto? I don't like pesto. When have you ever had a pesto pasta? I'm gonna. You've never. Me, I've had personally. A pesto, I've had a pesto pasta. I like a little pesto pasta. Okay. I like a little basil, a little olive oil, a little Name salt, one ingredient. garlic. That's all the ingredients. <laughs> Where does it get the green from, bud? The basil! Fuck. He's, he's got me. He's Not got... the olive oil? It comes in a green bottle. Uh, they use white, uh, black olives for it. Mm. Mm. 
I come in a green bottle. Not everyone gets green pasta, obviously, as we just all witnessed. And many people never will. Tagliatelle. That's the best. <laughs> God bless Tagliatelle you. is the, the large one. But that. don't fret. It's okay because many people do understand you. Better yet, those who understand you love you. It's true. So true, King. And get excited when they learn to enjoy your many quirks. I am just a quirked up green sauce on pasta. Your quirk up white boy goaded with the pesto. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. And that reference is relevant. How do we feel about all of our pasta pastanalities? I feel like you stack the deck for p yourself. Yeah. Uh, but I, I can't be upset with spaghetti and meatballs. Everybody loves spaghetti and meatballs. I'm not upset with penne. I am upset with simple sauce. Also, I want to know why you think I'm a ravioli. Uh, it's, it's You're full of shit. Ravioli is like unequivocally, undeniably like this is not, this is not a subjective thing. I would say it's an objective thing. The funniest pasta. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> More funny than a bow tie. Oh, God damn it. Second funniest pasta. <laughs> bow tie tops it. I want you guys to know that I tried to make up my own personality test years ago when we first started the podcast you try to give with, yourself a person with the real goofy ones that's the only reason that i knew that pasta existed because i was like i'm gonna find the goofiest pastas and i'm gonna do our little personality test and say we're the goofiest pastas and then i never did it guys and you didn't know that which pasta was real bigatoni bigatoni oh gotcha. okay if that's not real i'm gonna be so embarrassed now that i've said it twice now it's like, oh no, he's he's serious about that. He really thinks that's a real thing, and it's gonna be very big. A Tony, but if you say it a third time, they'll appear. Now it, it 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 um rule of comedy, rule of three. No, no, no. It's like a a tulpa. It it comes to existence. into existence. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a little scary that I kind of believe in the secret. Oprah might have been right on it. Okay, I'm gonna wake up to a million dollars in the morning. Bigatone just sounds like a PC uh, Italian mobster's nickname. Yeah. Instead of Fat Tony. I could see like a Nickelodeon. Bigatone. That, that felt. Uh... How? It felt what? Funny? Hilarious? <laughs> Good? How about this? This is a listener submitted sound that we play before our listener submitted stories. Please. And I've got two of them tonight, so we're running long again. Sorry, editor. This was sent in by somebody with no name. They said, don't say my name. Don't look for a name. I love that artist. Uh, and it's here it is. It's a great city in Colorado. One question. Josh and Christian does gay love? Need to know. Hurry reply. But thanks. Good night. Simple question. Do Josh and Christian gay love? Oh. I really didn't hear uh, what yeah, the question I was. gathering it. I was still thinking about my no name Colorado oh, joke. We'll go again. Nobody laughs question. at that. Josh and Christian does gay love? Need to know. Hurry reply. But thanks. Good night. Uh, so we don't gay love. Mm. No, we don't. It's disappointing, actually. Um, I'm sure that's what they're going to say. Right. And then... You would be devastated. I also, would. Also, mm -hmm. I know that was like, you know, the voice to text thing, but it sounded a lot like Moshe Kasher's... Moshe Kasher's impression, impression of, of Stephen Hawking. Stephen Hawking, yeah, sure. It wasn't Moshe Kasher. Although maybe it was because he literally, the email was called like no face and it said, no, I have no name. Do not, talk, don't reference who I am. Don't even Google Natasha Legero from Rockford, Illinois. I forgot she's from Illinois. Yeah. I forgot that. And Moshe is from Oakland. Mm. He is. His parents are deaf. What? Aren't his parents deaf lesbians? Maybe. Something like no, that. No, I think his like birth parents were both deaf and then his mom Became like remarried to a, a woman. I don't remember. Interesting. I just—it's one of those things where about. you learn that both parents are deaf, and you go, "How does this work? How who who Schools. taught him okay. genetics?" There's somebody who sat in front of me uh, in college who um, both of the both of her parents were deaf, and then she was not. Like, do they have like? I don't know. Like, are they like? You gotta probably. I imagine you have to pay to like get them like, get them teaching early on. Yeah. That way, they get exposed to like verbals. Thing, but that's I, that's what I was gonna say. It's like, no do idea. you learn to talk later in life? And it's like, maybe they, do they have a harder time? I don't know. Maybe they have family members that help. True. I don't know. But she did. Um, she did. What's that called? Where you spin the flags? 
uh, color guard. She was color guard. And she came in one day with just the largest just knob on her head. And she was like, I think I have a concussion. And everyone's like, what happened? She's like, well, I threw the flag up and it came down and it hit me right on the head. And they're like, yeah, when did that happen? And she's like, 20 minutes ago. And we're like, go to the nurse. Who is this? Just somebody who sat in front of me in college. I threw the flag up and then I don't quite remember. It's like she very clearly had a concussion, like a pretty good one. And she just came to class. She's like, oh, no, I have to go sit on my childhood psychology course. How dare you call a concussion good? <laughs> I've had multiple concussions. I can I can call Me them too. good. Me too. Me too. Have you? I'm from what? Getting hit in the head as uh, a kid? Yeah. Like from your brothers? Wrestling with oh. my brother. What about you? You ever been hit? Falling down the stairs. Mm. I had to stay overnight in the hospital once. Mm. Mine too. was football. I put a hole in the, in the door. Oh, like wow. oh, because your sister pushed you. No, no. But I you was wanted to bunny hopping up the stairs, and I tripped on a wire, and then I tumbled backwards <laughs> down the stairs. Is there a wire? <laughs> and then uh, the door was closed at the bottom of the steps, and there's still a hole in that door today. This is a listener submitted. I'm glad you think that's really fucking funny, Christian. <laughs> I could have died. Fu- it shouldn't be funny, but the picture you painted was the Hilarious. funniest it could have been. <laughs> Hilarious. You're welcome. This is a listener submitted story. This is a real story. Somebody. It can't be faked. From that somebody sent into us at our email at gmail.com. This is from <clears throat> someone. Can we get a dude's name? Jeremiah. D- yeah. No. no, let's do years and we'll vote on it. Dudley. Okay, do you want to go with Jeremiah or Dudley? Jeremiah. What obviously. do you want to go with, Christian? Jeremiah. And I'll go with Dudley to break the tie. I fricked up, but it wasn't my fault. Frick. This story took place over 20 years ago and several states away. So don't worry about using the names. When I, 18 male, was just out of high school, I had the early morning cashier shift at a Rite Aid pharmacy. It's like a CVS, Erica. Thanks for the clarification, Joshua. We opened at 6.30 a.m., and at that time of day, no one would come in. So my assistant manager, Leah? Leah? L-E-A? What do we think here? Leah? Leah? Lay? Lee? Lee, 25 female, and I would hang out. I would say Leah. Leah, 25 Leah, 25 female, and I would hang out in the front and just chat about work and social lives. Okay. On this particular morning, she didn't have much to talk about. Her and her fiancé were supposed to hang out the night before, but he was too busy helping his parents all night, so it was postponed until later in the week. So I told her about the night that I had. The night before, my buddy Luke, 18 male, asked me to go on a double date. I agreed, and we met up with the ladies at a bowling alley where a local rock concert was going on. What, okay. a t- what an early 2000s scene that he's set. This kind of rocks. I was set to be Sarah's 18 female date, and Luke went with the other girl, 20 female. I couldn't remember her name at the time. When the concert was over, the ladies asked us for a ride back to each of their houses. When he got back to my car, Luke's date was on her phone talking with someone and decided to go hang out with her boyfriend, Dominic, instead. Sorry, Luke. On the way to drop her off, she tells us the story about how it's not really her boyfriend. They don't have a title yet because he's still living with his baby mama. But they hang out and hook up when they can find time. They hang out and hook up when they can find time. And hopefully soon he will leave his current living situation. I drop the girl off at the house party that her boyfriend is at. And then proceeded to drop off Luke and Sarah at their respective homes. Okay. When I finished my story, Leah asked if the girl's name was Lindsay. I told her, oh, yeah, that was her name. How'd you know? Right then, many things came together uh, in my head. Uh, Loudly? Uh-oh. It wasn't quietly. Leah had a child with her fiancé. Her fiancé was living with her and not paying rent. His name was Dom. Short for Dominic. Toretto. Not Toretto. Okay. What did I say? Editor. Toretto. <laughs> Editor. <laughs> I had just told my assistant manager that her fiancé was cheating on her. Right away, she pulled out her phone and excused herself to the back. Within two hours, I had angry voicemails from both of the ladies telling me I was a narc and I should have kept my mouth shut. (laughs) My defense? What are the chances it was the same guy? What are the chances? Sadly, the end result was Dom convincing Leah that nothing happened. He claimed he went over to his friend's party house, friend's house party, after (laughs) he was done helping his friend, his parents. He didn't want Lindsay there. She just found him somehow. He kicked her out of the party immediately and tried to chase me down the street to take her home. By the way, it was a dead-end street. I had to turn around and pass the house party again. No one came out to flag me down. 
But there's a happy ending. He ran into Leah 10 years later. <gasps> Turns out Dom did it again less than a year after they were married. Whoopsies. And she divorced him. She was much happier with her current husband. Hooray. What a freaking awkward sitch. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. What a turn. What a turn. What are the chances? Unless it was a super small town. It's a town of like 300. But like, it's funny too, because like, he this dude went on a, a double date with like an 18 year old girl and 20 year old girl. And then that girl is fucking with somebody. We don't know the dude's name, I guess. But, you know, Leah's 25. Okay. So that means that, like, probably a mid to late 20s dude was, like, hitting on a, tw- or, like, sleeping with a 20 year old. Probably recently a teenager. Dom? Dom. Don't seem very cool, my man. Say that to his face. Toretto? Yeah. Fuck, I don't think I can. I don't know who that is. You guys keep saying that. Erica. Fast and the Furious. Ah. Come on. It's all come together. The family. That guy? You know. It was a horrible. No. Horrible. Okay, listeners. Franchise. Okay. <laughs> Fuck you. Wow. <laughs> no, I was going to say it was a horrible impression. But no. Then, no, that we're was going to get really... so much more. That was a good impression, a and really we're going to get so much hate oh for saying it's a bad franchise. The Piss Babies are. Probably the biggest big fast, fast heads, heads I know. Yeah. Really? Fast heads, furious heads, whatever you want to call them. Is that for real? No. Oh, okay. No. I don't give a shit about fast and furious. I mean, it's fine. Boy fans are fast heads. Girl fans are furiosas. <laughs> and non-binary folks are the ands. <laughs> that was a really cute little laugh. Oh, my God. This is why they can't have wine. The I am drunk. Episode dev- devolves. No, no. Let no. me get a sip. No. Christian's got his little blush going. How dare you? He does have a little blush. Stop! You're embarrassing me. Now it's what, more But blush. was it because I called his laugh cute? No, Maybe. it's from the drinking. What? <laughs> <laughs> your forehead's red. Does your forehead blush when you get embarrassed? Yeah, your whole face can blush. You, it, that's who Olsen got his fucking blush jeans from. Yeah. Yeah. He's you got so good cute. blush br- patterns. Blush patterns, yeah. Who said that and what does that mean? It was a makeup joke. Get that back now? I didn't get to take a drink oh, yet. I had shit. your time with it. Get <laughs> it back Maybe we should listener submit another freaking story. <clears throat> Don't do it. <laughs> this is titled <laughs> Listener Submission Poop Knife. <gasps> poop Knife? This it's is a. Been so long. Pretty long one. Cannot use her name. Can we get a. A female's name. Um, Wait. Yes. Female. Virginia. Charlie's. Okay, let's take a vote. Charlie's. Charlie's. I'll go for Virginia to break the tie. <laughs> Hi, judges. Hello. I'm a newer listener thanks to TikTok, and I binge your podcast now while I'm working, cleaning, sometimes working out. Mm. Don't listen to those comments at the beginning of the episode about us hating TikTok right now. <laughs> I listen to the new episodes as they come out and then go back and continue chronologically from the beginning, which is the proper way to do it. It is the proper way to do if it. If you're catching up with a podcast, that's the proper way to do you it. You dip your toes in, you listen to two or three episodes, you go, I like it. And then you go to the beginning when you have time and you work your way through it. But you listen to the new ones as they come out. Yes. Yeah. yeah. That is, mm. That's the way you do it. I've made it to February 2021. Just finished Tea Dangle. Ah. Ooh, good episode. And something that I've noticed is a recurring theme on this podcast is the poop knife. Mm-hmm. It's been a while. It's been a while. <laughs> so I figured I'd bless you with my own poop knife story. This is insane. There shouldn't be a poop knife story unless it's a work of fiction. It was about 10 years ago. Let's preface this by saying preface this by saying <clears throat> that at this time I was roughly 15 and only pooped about once a week. I feel you. These things were straight whoppers for a grown man. But let alone whopper, my five... whopper double whopper. <laughs> I don't know the rest of it. Whopper whopper double whop. No, it's whopper whopper junior whopper single double triple whopper. Okay. The fuck are you guys talking Come about? Come on, How Erica. We're going to get fucking roast, flame, ro- flame broiled in the comments. What? Are, it's char broiled. Not from fucking Burger King. <laughs> it's flame broiled. It is flame I'm broiled. I'm so sorry. What are you talking about? The Burger King commercials? Have you even been on TikTok in the last two weeks? I made a TikTok about it. I don't fucking watch your TikToks. I've made two TikToks about it. I saw that one. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Here we go. One. All for five bucks. That can't be right. Just confirm that that's the right price. 
Here we go. These things were straight Big Macs for a grown man, let alone my five foot zero, 15 year old self. All right. Okay. Let's I, get... I'm saying I understand. I, I can sympathize. I've been I'm there. I'm just reading the story. It says all right with a question mark. Stop <laughs> yelling at me. Let's get into it. It's been 84 years. Whoa. Just kidding. It's only been like 10. This all unfortunately happened on a family trip to Hawaii. My dad at the time had to work in Honolulu. So my mom, her parents, my little sister, and myself all followed him out there and decided to make a trip out of it. Of course. Day two into the trip, and everyone's having a grand old time until my weekly deuce dropping rolls around. In our hotel bathroom, I do the do, finish my business, and flush. Sure. Or? Or? I try to. Mm. Um, Spoiler alert for White Lotus Season 3, you guys. If you haven't seen White Lotus Season 3, this is a spoiler alert. It won't flush down. I'm panicking already, looking for a plunger, but... Duh. Hotel bathrooms don't have plungers. And even if they did, this monster log hooked onto the rim of the drain like it was holding on for dear life. On that rim, 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 rim. I'm s- I don't get that. Um, uh, I believe it's a Nicki Minaj song. That rim, 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 rim. Try? That sounds like Nicki Minaj. I'm staring at him, and he's staring at me. And the longer we stare at each other, the more I panic because I know I'll have to tell somebody. And how embarrassing, especially for a 15-year-old girl. It is a little embarrassing. Then. Especially for a 15-year-old girl. Knock, knock, knock. A knock on the door. The jig was up. My sweet grandma, of all people, needed to use the bathroom. Like, now. And who was I to tell her she couldn't? The one that clogged the toilet, that's who. It was time. I had to tell somebody. Grandma's the one to tell. Opened the door and told my grandma amongst everyone else in the room. Ooh, that's not the (laughs) ones to tell. That no one was going to be able to use the bathroom and it was all my fault. The family conversation started with everyone saying that I'm being dramatic and some disbelief that I could have clogged a hotel bathroom. Apparently they make sure to use ones with extra wide pipes so they don't easily clog. Then turned to everyone wanting to assess the situation Mm -hmm. by looking at it. I hope it was an aesthetically pleasing turd. It's got to be. Like, it's not going to be a real messy one. because You don't know that. How can it be messy and that hard? Messy and clog? That's a rare combo. You could have big old solid honking piece of shit. Corking the pipes up. And then liquid around it. Yeah. I I call that a B-dubs night. That's what happens to me when I eat Buffalo Wild Wings. I eat more than six <laughs> spicy garlic wings. I watched Mortified from the front of the bed. Just in case you wanted to know, Josh. That's how the process goes for me. <laughs> it's like I pop the cork and then I have diarrhea for the next two days. I get those once in a blue moon. That's why I don't drink it anymore. That was a good joke. I liked it. I watched Mortified. From the foot of the bed as my family walked into the bathroom, already laughing at me. And then the peanut gallery started. All four of them making comments, cackling and dropping expletives at what I dropped in the toilet. My grandma made the comment that it looked like a Frankfurter, in which my mom decided to now name it Frank. I could not believe they named it. It was now officially a he him and was taking on a new life. My mom even got the camera and took pictures to document this moment. Oh, that's so cute. That's so cute. Family memories. They emerged together and while continuing to joke me, started to devise a game plan. They told me that I would need to call maintenance to have someone take a look. Me? I absolutely refused. It was embarrassing enough that they knew about it. I didn't need hotel staff judging me for it, too, let alone three idiots on a podcast. You would have thought that I believed that hotel staff would have texted all my friends or something. I absolutely would not do it. But they gave me an alternative. And this is where the poop knife comes in. They gave me a plastic knife from our takeout (laughs) dinner and told me if I wasn't going to be a big girl and call maintenance, I was going to have to cut it into smaller pieces so it could go down. At first, I refused to do that. That sounded gross, and I didn't want to do it. It is gross. (laughs) But once they told me those were my only two options, I started to think about all the ramifications. How many more people would know and how much more embarrassment I could take? Somehow, in my 15-year-old brain, I thought that any other people finding out would be the end of me, more so than cutting into my own shit. Yep, you heard that right. I cut into my own shit with a poop knife. It, the worst part is they did it with their entire family knowing about it. That makes it so much worse. 
In the hotel bathroom, I closed the door and made sure to lock it so there couldn't be any photo evidence. Of course, that didn't stop my family from heckling me from outside the bathroom, <laughs> calling me a murderer for cutting into the new family member I'd created and asking how I could kill a piece of myself so easily. Sounds like a great time. Yeah. They're I mean, on... for everybody else. It probably was no, I mean, very scary. The family sounds like a great time. Yeah. This seems like when you hang out with your friend's family and everyone's just having fun, and you're like, how come my family sucks? Yeah. That's you know? happened to me once. <laughs> My family's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. It was on your birthday, too. Last year. Right? Wasn't it the Dells trip? Your your whole family went to the Dells except for you, and it was on your birthday weekend? That did happen to me. That's, that was fucked up. <laughs> My <laughs> entire family went on a vacation <laughs> without me. They're so fun that they did it without you. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty good. Fuckers. <laughs> I know you listen to this, you little fuckers. There, on my knees in front of the toilet, Frank and I stared at each other one last time before I cut into him. I don't remember how long I was in there before the job was done, but the image will forever be burned into my brain. When I finished, my family literally cheered for me, and I never heard the end of Frank. He went on to be a part of a few photo memory recap screensavers, <laughs> showed to a few of my boyfriends, and remembered at some later family gatherings. It's been a while since anyone has brought up Frank, and even I had begun to forget about him until I started listening to this podcast. That's You're welcome. So glad we could... Do that for you. That's poop traumatic stress disorder for you. I hope you enjoy. And if you end up reading this in the podcast, I just might send the episode out to my family to remind them all of that hot, steamy family vacation in Hawaii. Plug, 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 plug. You're plugging not just toilets. Thank you. Four out of ten pod. I'm sorry. Four out of ten trauma. 18 out of ten podcast. Love and pisses. Thank you. My actual name, so don't use it. Love and pisses. Jezebel, what was her name? Virginia. No. Charlize. Charlize. Jezebel. Love and pisses is so fucking funny. Love and pisses is great. Yeah. I think that we need to use that. Love and pisses? That's how yeah. we sign off every episode from now on. That's Thanks, great. Charlize. I like that a lot. Thanks, Charlize. <gasps> no! No! Editor will bleep, but don't worry. Sorry, we'll call her Furiosa. The editor is going to be going to be able to bleep all of this. It's pretty funny because... Uh, Australia is pretty close to Hawaii too. Yeah, so it could... she's not from Australia. Yeah. Charlize turns Australian. Is she South, South African? African? I have to bleep all this, and she dropped the Rudolph monster. Where's my movie buffs? You know what that movie's about? A serial killer or something? I don't know. Eileen Warnos. Um, speaking of plugging things, we did our taxes, and we told the person checking us out to listen to our podcast, <laughs> which was pretty funny. <laughs> And then also, I got recognized at Walmart, which was... <gasps> oh, my God. I forgot. You got recognized? It happened. No, I thought I was getting recognized. So, went to Walmart today. Had Olsen in the cart. I ran into my brother's grandma. Okay. We understand, right? My, since he's my half-brother, so it's his mom's mom. She's your half-grandma, yeah. She's my half-grandma. Thank you. She's great. Love her. We're talking for a minute. And we're standing next to like the avocado lemon stand, and this like. Are we hundred percent positive it's not lime and lemon stand? <laughs> it, you know what? It, they're always no. next to each other. The two things, one's green, one's yellow. It was avocados and onions. I'm so sorry. It wasn't lemons. <laughs> yellow onions, fucker. It was yellow. No, it was white onions. Vandalia. Um, Vandalia. I'm gonna lose it. I'm gonna fucking lose it if you don't let me tell this goddamn story. So we're standing there, and I'm talking. To, I'm talking to Marilyn, and. Uh. I can say her name. Her name is Marilyn. <gasps> She's fantastic. She's also like five foot zero. Um, she is tiny. This like girl comes up and I am not, you know, whatever. She comes up and she's like kind of like looking at me, looking at the onions, looking at me, looking at the onions. And I'm talking to Marilyn and I make eye contact with this girl and she kind of like mouths to me like, do you know her? Like, I thought she was going to say, do I know you? Like, are you Erica from the Judges? And I was going to be like, oh, my God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, she was like, do you know her? I was like, oh, yeah, that's my grandma. And she's like, oh, I'm so sorry. I just know that sometimes old ladies, like, trap women with children and, like, you can't get out of conversations. And I was just going to, you know, like, hey. She said that in front of? Yeah. Jesus that's Christ. That's actually really cool of her, though. Is it? I know. Okay. Not Hell to yeah. say it in front of the grandma. I understand that part, but to come and give you like okay, well you this know yeah. So she was like, I was just coming to say like, oh ha ha hi, I know you. Let's yeah. get out of here. Um, but it might have been a Rickyism where she, you know, she 
didn't say quite exactly those words, but along those lines. Mm. We get the gist, though. That was get the gist. bottle of wine that Ricky finally lives up to her own shortcomings. I'll never admit it. Sorry, loud Cummings. Fuck. <laughs> Can I tell my story now? No. So I just thought it was so funny because like, I thought for sure I was getting recognized. And I was yeah. going like, to rub it in Joshua's face like, I get recognized too. But I didn't. Yeah. I should have been plugging though. I should have been like... Oh my god i'm gonna tell this some on my podcast and you should totally listen to my podcast and we could be friends yeah i was in walmart she was cool though if you're listening i hope instagram message me or something and Did we she be look friends. like she listens to podcasts she could be she had a great coat on it's fabulous coat i loved it she a dog no she's cute no what? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. don't make it seem like my joke was that i was asking if she was ugly <laughs> Don't make it seem like I just called a woman a dog. So was she hideous or what? <laughs> She's single? I'm not. But No, she was with a man, unfortunately. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Maybe it was her. Maybe you needed Could've to res been. reciprocate. Be like, do you know him? Mm. Oh, that was her out. Mm. Fuck. And I ruined it for her. She kept saying the word angel and you just weren't picking up the head. I don't like that joke, bud. Oh, yeah, that's his mom's name. Maybe not. Maybe don't. <laughs> Have you not heard of an angel shout yeah, out of the bar, I don't man? like that joke, You call man. it other stuff, or what? No, I just don't like that joke in this context. I don't know why I just can't say your mom's name in general. It makes it seem too real. I didn't like my joke fully, but... I honestly wasn't paying attention to your I joke. was at Walmart. Just tell us how you got recognized. And these two people with a, like a nine-year-old girl walked by. This guy. And then I... We like passed this way, mm -hmm. and then I like went and gra grabbed something, and then came back out and turned my car around. And this little girl is just like speed walking, like kid walking, okay. always way too fast. Yeah, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. beaming, biggest smile on my face, just staring at your me face, again. biggest <laughs> biggest smile on the kid's face. I'm sorry, just staring and I was, and just like dead. You know, kids don't lack confidence, so she's just staring at me, and I was just like, hi, and she's like. My mom listens to your podcast, and then she points back, and she's just like, "Oh my god!" I'm like, "Hi!" And I was like, "Oh hi!" And then I left. <laughs> I was like, "Bye." Well, you didn't give an autograph. That's fucked. Yeah, I give autographs every time I get recognized. That's true. How often? Why am I the only one? Not I don't know. Double, double digits. You got your hair done. How are people gonna know? There, that somebody today at Walmart was probably like, "I think that's Erica from the Judges," but I've never seen her with tinsel and pink hair. Mm. No, because it was I before didn't... you went to get your hair done because you went to get your hair done at three when Chris and I are supposed to work out and you went to Walmart before that because you had Olsen. We know, Erica, we were all there. You don't work out on Fridays. It's because we didn't work yeah, out we yesterday watched. because we had tax stuff. And then we had to plug our podcast to the tax lady. Yeah. We said it at taxes. Speaking of plugging, Erica. Instagram. Uh, at Mrs. Ricky K. You fucker. You <laughs> Twitter. Fucker. At Mrs. Ricky K. <laughs> what do you even tweet? I don't. Yeah. I just, oh, oh, my neck. She tweets like bad joke at Josh and that's it. Yeah, I tell Josh to fuck off a lot on Twitter. Which is a not asinine so because it's a it's great either. account at Hot Nothing wrong with it. Anyway, that. it's Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, Patreon, Twitch. Patreon gets you a bonus episode every month and ad free episodes. If you hate listening to ads. Gmail, follow at Judges Pod, J U D G I E S P O D. If you got a listener submission, if you got a listener story, send that over to judgespod at gmail.com. And as we say every week, loves and pisses. Loves and pisses. I just got the joke that pisses is kisses. Yeah, love and pisses. Really? The yeah. judges love and piss you. That was really loud. I'm sorry. I got it right on beat, so I'm not too worried. Speaking of beat, Olsen is beating the shit out of me every day. Bye. Bye.